everyone, welcome back to Outbreak Distractions. It's Dina here. I hope you're all doing so well and having a great day. Today we are going to be reacting to Disqualifications in MMA. This is by The Montage King MMA. Now if you guys have watched this, I'm going to say guy, if you've watched his videos before, it might be a girl that's behind this channel, but I don't know. Um, if you've watched their videos before, then you know they're going to be epic, as you'll see when I start this one. So make sure you go check them out after, because they're seriously epic. Let's go. MMA was initially marketed as no holds barred, with almost no rules. But over time, more and more rules have been implemented into MMA. This is a list of fights where a fighter was disqualified for breaking the rules, from illegal strikes to simply refusing to fight. These are disqualifications in MMA. One of the more the rarely enforced loads. rules in MMA is timidity. Timidity is where one fighter refuses to engage in the fight, usually by running away to avoid action, pulling guard over and over, or sometimes just being too scared to continue fighting. That's a Some might be like that. Too scared. There haven't been a lot of disqualifications via timidity in MMA, but it has happened on a few occasions. Once against the brother of UFC vet Matt Serra, Mick Serra. If you don't stand up, you're disqualified. Nick Sarah gassed early in the fight and attempted to pull guard on his opponent multiple times with no luck. Makowski, the younger fighter, senses it. And he walks what, he's just like trying to end it himself. Well, Sarah, in desperation attempt, he said, how does he get to the ground? He jumped guard from about five feet away. Eventually, Sarah refused to stand up and fight and was subsequently disqualified. Behind the knee again, and Sarah just falls down. To me, it looks like he, he just might as well not be there. Daywood Osdoba did a lot of running from his opponent in his one and only MMA fight, and understandably so. His opponent was Lithuanian strongman Robert Bernika. He looks massive, but they cannot be in the same weight class. That's ridiculous. They should not be fighting each other. Rachman Makaziev refused to stand back up after being taken down at ACB 48. To what your strengths are and still build upon your weaknesses. Taking a long time to get to his yeah, feet. That's well. a bad sign. He had the guy, he had uh, kind of got from the ground position. I think he said something there that the referee might be looking to give him a yellow card for timidity. We do have the yellow card system here in uh, ACB, so that would be a point. He just looks line. knackered. He's talking to his corner. That's a referee well. that's stoppage, right? Yeah. That is a referee stoppage. After clocking over two miles on his Fitbit, Bruno Makulu was disqualified for running away too much. But again, you need two willing participants, and Henry oh, Felipe sure. certainly is. Bobby, oh, this, he's bigger stop the fight to inactivity. I feel quite ashamed of myself if I did that. Another way of being disqualified well, I guess if you're scared, is being scared, you know? <laughs> also known as unsportsmanlike conduct. That was totally illegal, was kicking a down fighter, and he kept going. There aren't many instances of fighters being DQ'd for breaking this rule, but it has happened recently at a TKO event in Canada. Stranya Gravilovic fought Joe Valet in the main event at TKO 37. Gavrilovic had the fight all but won, but after he knocked out Joe Valet, he continued to punch him. Well, after the fight was called off, oh the my referee God. had to pry him off his unconscious opponent. That's just awful. That is actually awful. People like that should Gavrilovic not be in this sport. They have action. no respect for Valet sport was whatsoever. Declared the winner. Disqualification due to unsportsmanlike conduct. Another yeah. example of a fighter being disqualified for exuding high levels of douchiness was Mike Kyle against Douches. Brian Olsen at WEC 20. Oh, oh my god, that's like pure evil coming out of him, you know? That, that's, that Some people would be so that was crazy. Totally illegal. It was kicking a down fighter, and they kept going. Kyle committed two offenses that led to a quick disqualification loss. First, he hit his opponent Brian Olsen with an illegal kick, but when the referee attempted to halt the bout, Kyle continued to pummel Olsen well after the fight was called off. Well, then he kept striking even yeah. after the referees yeah. were holding him. Kyle was quickly <laughs> DQ'd for an illegal kick plus strikes after the bell. Dirty Bob Schreiber was also disqualified for not only landing an illegal strike, but for doing it after the bell. Schreiber. This just, what, he's just disqualified, that's it, nothing else happens. Because if so, that's ridiculous. Kicking or kneeing an opponent in the head while they're on the ground is a foul. Sure, he knows that this as well, like, why'd violated you do it? several times in the UFC and other organizations that follow the unified rules of MMA. Usually when this happens, a point is deducted or the fight is declared a no contest. But there are times when a fighter is disqualified for the action if the foul is considered intentional. Former UFC middleweight champion Anderson Silva was disqualified for breaking this rule against Yushin Okami in 2006. Oh, oh my god. 
Okami was able to take Silva down, but was promptly KO'd when Silva landed an illegal kick, giving Okami the DQ win. Due to an illegal nice kick, man. Anderson Silva has been disqualified. This rule is heavily debated, with some people believing knees and kicks should be allowed to grounded opponents to I prevent don't. stalling. Not a good in the example face. of this is Konstantin Glukov versus Mikhail Gazayev. To avoid mm -hmm. a potential kick in the head, Gazayev simply stayed on his knees throughout the fight, refusing to stand up. That's terrible. Gazayev was eventually able to trick his opponent into throwing a kick while he was still grounded, giving him the DQ victory. Yeah, all the ways to I can understand MMA, it when it comes to like, when it's so like that. hard in the groin that you can't continue has got to be among the worst. Oh, oh me, right right there. Right. me as a there woman, I don't know hundreds pain, of but... accidental groin shots in MMA, but very rarely I does a fighter actually real. get disqualified for it. Tatsuya Kawajiri was attempting to defend his Shudo title in 2006, but after a stray kick from Joaquin Hansen, Kawajiri dropped like a sack of potatoes and was given the DQ victory. I, th I think if you don't mean to do it, then definitely should get disqualified for it. 100% not, but I guess you can't tell with some people. Eric Prindle tried to be fancy and threw an He's axe massive. kick at his grounded opponent. Brindle was DQ'd for the low blow. Quinton oh, Rampage sure. Jackson was also disqualified for a low blow in the past at Pride 18 against Tajiro Matsui. The boxing stands. Oh, 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 oh knee right to right the there. groin right away. Did he go for the stomach there? Oh, how unfortunate. Who knows? The groin shot seemed accidental, but for whatever yeah. reason, it wasn't declared a no contest, but instead a DQ win for Matsui. He's in bad shape. Yeah, he's in bad shape here. Oh my god. Japanese fighter Shinya Aoki has like, won twice that must be the most painful thing ever. Blows, once by UFC vet George Sotiropoulos. Do you not get like guard, like shields there? And a few you would have thought they'd have like a shield there. Keith Herring was disqualified before his fight even began. Oh yeah, that was bad. <laughs> <laughs> John Jones has yet to be disqualified for his numerous eye pokes, but was instantly DQ'd for delivering an elbow at the wrong angle. Due to intentional elbows, there's been a disqualification of Johnny Bones Jones. Vyacheslav Dotsik has been disqualified multiple times in his fight career, once for grabbing his opponent's testicles. Oh, God. <laughs> that is savage. <laughs> once for eye gouging. <laughs> Like, he should not be in the sport, full stop. And once for showboating too much. Datsik didn't take too kindly to any of these calls. He got disqualified for that, though. It's amazing. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Guys, how epic is this channel? Like, they make some really good videos. Make sure, like I said, to go check them down below. Um, I just think, it's, oh, is it a bell they you? Yeah, after the bell... Like, they only get disqualified. Don't you think there should be a much stricter rule for people like that? That will hit someone after the bell. It's just scumbaggy. It's so bad. Like, you, they don't respect the sport. I don't feel like they personally should, should be allowed to actually compete again. I really don't. It might be a bit harsh, but I just think if you're going to play it, something so, like, it can be dangerous. When someone's not ready, imagine getting hit in the face when you're not ready for a, to get punched in the face. Like, that can kill you. So for me, I feel like they shouldn't even be allowed to compete again. Might be a bit brutal, but I just think it's terrible. But either way, I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, then make sure you smash that thumbs up button because it helps me out so much. If you're new to this channel, then please make sure you subscribe because I have so many more videos coming your way. Also, if you want me or Chris or both of us to react to any videos that you guys want, just leave them down in the comment section and I will put them straight on my list for you guys. Um, sometimes I don't see them straight away because I do get quite a few coming a day, you know, what it's like. So I will see it eventually if you just keep coming in, I promise. I always, always do read my comments all the time. But if you can't be patient enough for me to see my comments, then just get me on my social medias because I will see everything on there and um, yeah they'll be linked down below in my description and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!